Hello and welcome back to the next episode of our Oblivion Let's Play series. In, I think it was the last episode or the one before, we got a mission to come and find a pewter tankard for somebody. So I thought we would do that. I thought that would be a good thing for us to do. Maybe uh, do a little shenanigans here. I was doing a little practicing. Making some spells, doing some things. Let's do, yeah, let's do the major life detect. Maybe that'll let us see in the dark just a little bit. A little bit. I'm not sure what we're dealing with here. Please don't tell me it's, is that a troll? I'm not sure what that was. What the, oh, yeah, more trolls. Oh, lovely. Just what we've always wanted. More trolls. After those last ones in the cave with Nocturnal. Yeah, that that was not fun. Not fun at all. But why would you let trolls get a hold of your tankard, though? As long as I can not get spotted, though. I'm, I'm good with that. Give me you. I would want to head over... Yeah, we can take all that. I want to head over and pick up um, a little bit of the main quest today. But I definitely wanted to get this one out of our inventory, our little quest inventory log, before it starts clogging up even more with more things. Let's see. Can we go this way? No. Oh, wait a minute. There's a, the wall won't shift. Oh, interesting. Maybe that's a Skyrim door out. Maybe. Can head over this way though. Let's go peek our noses around and get things that dropped on top of our head because why not? That's always fun. And that's the back door out. There has to be something through here somewhere, right? What am I overlooking? This is the rock wall that won't move. So where's that out on the map? Okay, so that's right there. But that's where I need to go to get through here. So why will it not move? Oh, interesting. Oh, there it goes. It just didn't want to move the last time. Alright, fine. I'm glad I tried that again. Uh, this path maybe? To a door. Oh, there's a troll in there. Okay. But his back is to me, so he's going to go down nice and quick. Sure. Feels like I'm wasting my silver arrows on him, though. I don't know. He was just standing in a room garden, pretty much nothing. Yeah, nothing in here. Alright, dude, you you keep doing you. Sorry I interrupted your um your bucket watching duties, but you know there are bucket thieves in oblivion. You never know ouch when or where they're gonna show up. <laughs> I did not see him. Woo, dude, you Ooh, we got a you were a, quite the handy little dude. Doing your thing. Sure. Thank you. I mean, how far in did this cup travel? I Honestly, I didn't remember the story about how this cup got here. I just remember we were asked to go and get it. I'd like to get a, a bow that does some soul trapping. I'll probably end up having to make that spell myself though. Average lock, sure. Thank you. That works very nicely. God, I love having the skeleton key. So much more convenient. Ah, he was guarding a fork. He had the more important job. Yeah. 
them dang forks. They're evil. Don't keep an eye on them. They'll jump out and eat your face off. There we go. Good thing we didn't walk right into that. That would hurt. That would put a few new holes in our noggin we don't need. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you just call me a little chill boblets there, dude. I don't know what you thought you were doing, because... Yeah. Ooh, I see your brother all the way over there, though. Let's see if we can get him. Yes, we can. Anybody down below? No. Looks like somebody was having a feast here, though. I mean, some of these caves, if they didn't have nasty enemies in them, would be pretty nice to uh, set up a nice little base of operations in. Yeah, you guys got yourself a nice little area, nice little campfire. Alright, looks like this is the way we might... Is this the way I want to go? Ah, uh, no it's not. And you are like a Spriggan or something. Oh, aren't you? Oh, Lord. No, I don't want to mess with Spriggans. They're not nice. They are not nice. Yep, even in Oblivion, they are not nice. Go away. Go away. Oh, good Lord. No, this is not the answer. This is not the answer. You need to die. She is healing. Come on, you need to die. Thank you very much. Whew. Okay. Was not expecting her. Yeah, give me your taproot. Holy bobs. So, a Spriggan? You're going to try and tell me a Spriggan stole your cat. Really? What were you doing in here, dude? Well, I'm still not seeing it in here, but with Spriggans, yeah, not good. Still not seeing his cup, though. Wasn't back in there. Might be further in? Is that another? No, it's not another rock. Jade necklace, though. Okay. More calipers. What is it with the calipers in this game? I swear. Okay, that's not us. So, what am I overlooking? Oh, is it down there? Hold on. Oh, wait, dude. Were you? Ah. Ah. There's his, I found his portly flag and I should return it to him. Was he in here drinking and canoodling? And then the, the enemies moved back in? It's quite possible, you know. Gotta watch where you go canoodling at, people. You can't just be going every which way. You never know what might show up. Good gravy. Alright, let's get out of here. Take this back to that guy. It was a nice little detour. Uh, hopefully it was worth it. Hopefully he gives us something good for this. But probably not. You know how these guys are. They're pretty dang cheap. Not too far away from Anvil anyways. We can just hop, skip, and jump right down. You know, I wouldn't mind. This is the day I would not mind going inside of an Oblivion Gate. You Watch, there won't be one around here. There, there should be one eventually around here. All the major holds end up getting one at some point or another. Alrighty. Had to wait till morning to get this guy to show up. He was uh, not having it. Hey, Jaws, how you doing? Yeah, your heirloom. Ah, you've got it. Thank the gods. Finally, my mead will stay cold and won't taste like goblin piss. Take these and my thanks. Yeah, no problem. What did you give me? You too. Yeah, uh, don't mind the troll. Oh, his special brew. Thanks. Uh, there might be some troll stuff in it. Don't, don't worry about it. I think a sprig and spit in it. Yeah. I hear that's lucky. <laughs> You think he'll care? Probably not. He's just happy to have that back. So, what do we have left? Wants me to contact Boris, seek in my roots, find in the Thieves Guild. Yeah, we can do that someday. Once a week. Oh, yeah, I probably need to go back and do that. For, uh, level 5, Vermina. Oh, I need a Black Soul Gem, though. Brush with Death. I could go do that. That one's actually really fun. 
Oh, no. I said we were going to go do Boris, right? I don't know. Brush with Death. Brush with Death is a lot more fun than going to meet in Boris. That's my my theory. Let's go over to Chaden Hall. We'll just make this uh, clean up the um, side quest mission here today. Of course, it's nighttime again. Let me see. Can I find you? You're not going to be in there. You're going to be somewhere around here. Back in your home, more than likely. Which, this one? Can you help me, please? I'm Javella Lathandis. I apologize that I can't give you the respect a guest in my home would normally receive, but I am at my wit's end. I'm sorry to be so forward, but I desperately need your help. It seems that my husband, Wrythe, has gone missing, and I just don't know what to do. Well, where did he go? Yes, my husband is the Wrythe Lathandis. Have you heard of him? Um, no. Why don't you tell me about him? You haven't? That's strange. Wrythe is known far and wide as one of the best painters in all Cyrodiil. His specialty is setting the great forest to canvas. The paintings look so amazingly real that some say they can see the trees sway in the breeze. That's just a silly notion, of course. But it just goes to show the attention to detail Wright uses when he paints. And you said he's missing? Yes, Wright likes to work in his studio with the door locked so no one can disturb him. He usually comes out to eat dinner and sleep. But two days ago, he didn't come out at all. At first, I wasn't worried. He does that occasionally. But when he didn't come out for a full day, I unlocked the studio with a key he said to use only in emergencies. It turned out he wasn't inside. I'm sure he never left that room. So I have no idea where he's gone. Please help me find Wright. I love him dearly, and I'm so worried. Well, don't worry. I'll find him oh, for you. Thank you so very much. Here's the key to Wright's studio. You may come and go as you please. If you need me, I'll be around the house. Do hurry. I miss my love so much. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll see what I can do for you. Do be careful. I, I will. I will. Is this... Uh, yeah, let's go through here. And... Take a look. Just close that door. Ooh, nice some blank canvases. Looks like he's got a few works in progress. And let's check out this unusual painting. Hey, dude. After touching the painting Rice had been working on, I suddenly found myself standing in a strange forest. It looks familiar, like the great forest in the heart of Cyrodiil. But something is different about it. And would this be the man? Where did you come from? You look real enough. You must be from the outside. Oh, thank goodness someone finally came. While I'm overjoyed to see a friendly face, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. You're stuck here like I am. Sorry to break it to you like that, but if it wasn't for that annoying thief, we wouldn't be in this predicament. Oh, tell me about the thief. I was in my studio when a Bosma wearing dark clothing accosted me. Before I could call for help, he knocked me unconscious. When I came to, I found that the door to my studio was still locked and that the thief had snatched my paintbrush. That's when I saw it. There was something on the canvas of my painting that I hadn't put there. It looked somewhat like a troll, but it was badly done. Then it hit me. The Bosma must have leapt into the painting, then painted guardians inside to protect himself using the brush of true paint. The brush of true paint? I knew the secret of my success would be revealed one day. I can tell you all about the brush, if you like. Well, please do. Very well. The brush showed up several years ago in the possession of an artist who was serving in the Arnesian War of 396. It seems an errant fireball had exploded next to him, and he lost the use of both arms. He was a stubborn man who didn't want to give up his talent. Being a devout follower of Dabella, he prayed to her for something that would allow him to express himself once more. 
She heard his plea and gifted him with the brush. It's said the bristles of the brush are woven from Debella's own hair. That injured man was my father. He passed the brush on to me, and I intend to pass it along to my kin one day. Did you want to know how it works? Ah, uh, sure. How does it work? The brush allows the artist to paint from within a canvas. It opens a portal into which the artist may enter to paint things life-sized. All the painter has to do is have the brush in his possession, and whatever he imagines appears in the canvas. Of course, I like to wave it around anyway. It makes me feel more like a legitimate painter. <laughs> I guess it all doesn't matter now. Unless you can defeat those painted trolls, we have no chance of getting the brush back. Okay, painted trolls though. The trolls that the thief painted seem to have turned on their creator and killed him. He didn't know the brush had its risks. The creatures are now loose all over the forest and in the clearing where I was still working. The brush is on the body of the Bosma thief there. I will not be able to help you. I am not a warrior. But take these bottles of turpentine. They might help. Do be careful. Okay, so what I'll have to remember to remove the trolls from my painting before I complete this piece. Okay. Be cautious, friend. I will. So, what do we need to do with these? Let's see. I've learned that a thief broke into his studio and stole the brush of tree paint. Using the artifact, he escaped. Then he painted trolls to protect himself. Now, the, thief, the paintbrush is on the thief's body, and I can't exit without it. I should take my leave and, and survey the forest. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Whoa, why are we not? We are moving now. Okay. So, we need to go look for painted trolls. There we go. Make sure we uh, do this very carefully. I guess we're going to be pouring... Do I need to put turpentine on my weapon? That could be it. Let me see. Where did... Ooh, I might need to... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and refill that. Where is the turpentine at, though? That special brew... Where is the turpentine? There we go. Yes, I want to paint. That's exactly what we have to do. Is we have to paint our bow with turpentine. So that we can kill these trolls. Because I guess without it, we're not going to be able to do it. So, why would they not... Um... Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Okay, wait, no. I guess we're good. It just kind of helps get rid of them. It's fine. He only gave us six. So I guess if we use one for each one, maybe that'll help knock down all these nasty trolls. Is there another one in this direction? I would have thought I could just follow the path, but apparently not. We'll, um... We'll go the ga way the game wants us to on this occasion. Although, this looks like a dead end, if you ask me. Yeah, that's just a dead end. So this is like a clearing the little troll was guarding, I guess. Let's see if we can pick up the trail over here. Be very careful, though. Don't want to go too far. There you are, little buddy. Oh, you are coming. But I got you. Oh, yep. Okay, no, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. One more. One more. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that was so close. He backed me right up into a corner. Dang it. All right. One more here. Yep. Keep going. Turpentine was used. Let's go see if we can sneak up on the next one. I'm thinking they're in a path. They should be, like, all lined up the way we need to go. I don't remember if there's five or six. I mean, he gave me six turpentines, so that kind of means I have six of them to deal with. But he could have given me an extra one just in case. Yep, there we go. Make sure we get a hit on you. That was a good one. 
Uh, where are you going? Whoa. Yeah, calm your bobs, dude. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. It is kind of weird in here. Yeah, he definitely does look like he's been painted, though. It's not quite uh, fully rendered. Uh, there we go. More like he's... Yeah, everything kind of looks like it's an, part of an oil painting. I do like this world. It's kind of cool. Thank goodness we only stay in here for a short time, though. The trees keep popping in and out. I, the sky even looks like it's been painted up there. I do like this quest. It's quite fun. It's kind of fun to imagine having a paintbrush like that. Okay, you're coming, you're coming. Okay, yeah, got a good hit on you. Oh, God, no, you're going to get a good hit on me. Yep, no, thank you. I'm good. Very good. Thank you. Whoop, one more and you're dead. Thank you. Yep, thank you. <laughs> oh, at least he remembered to paint his little toes. It always, oops, always sucks when they forget to paint the toes. Poor trolls. They never did nothing wrong. Whoop, let's go with that. Thank you. Oh, did it again. There we go. Alright, a troll number, what, five, four, something? Don't know, I've lost count. We should be getting close to the body, I would think. Feels like I'm getting towards the end of the world here, though. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. There's a bit more. Oh, hi, dude. Oh, you dodged that, you brat face. Oh, no, this is going to be a while. And we even... Yeah, now we're doing damage. Oh, no, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Definitely don't do it. One more, one more. There you go, buddy. There you go. Totally missed that shot on him. I think he dodged it at the last minute. Well, at least I got three arrows back. Is there another troll? I'm not sure, you know. I feel like I'm really close to this body, though. Hello? Oh, no, there is one more troll. Yep. Definitely one more troll. Let's put that last turpentine on. Thank you very much. And now we just go... Yeah, there we go. You definitely... Oh, God. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Thank you. Thank you. It keeps moving my caps lock button. Thank you. This should be us. Yeah, that was it. Whoa. Yeah, he definitely needs to come back here and work on his dang canvas. What you got, dude? You got the brush of true paint. I've retrieved the brush. I should go back and return it to Wraith. So together we can leave this strange landscape. Yes, indeed we should. Alright, he should be just like over the hill. And there should be no more enemies. Can I bob up around here? I think so. Whoa. Yeah, that was going to hurt. I knew that one was coming. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Am I back near? Whoa, where'd he go? Oh, right there. I just totally passed him. Hello. Let me go paint us a way out of here. Good work. Now I can paint the portal home. After it's complete, you must go first, or else you'd be stuck in here forever. Okay. Paint Follow away. Me. Okay. Your fate is in my hands here. There we go. Wright used the brush of true paint to paint a door back to his studio. I should now step through and return back to Tamriel. We arrived back in Wright's home. The painting is now sealed and Wright is safe. I should speak to him when I have a moment. I don't know how to thank you. You have a good heart to help me get back home. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Oh, it was a nice diversion. Here, please take this apron as a token of our friendship. It's not much, but perhaps it will help you in the future. All I ask in return is to keep the brush's existence secret. If word gets around that I have it, I'm afraid more than a lone cut purse will visit me. Brush? What brush? I don't know anything about a brush. Safe journey, Sergio. Yep, definitely. Thank you very much. And are you good? 
please share the hospitality of our home. Yeah, you're okay. You're you're good. I guess you Safe don't have anything us. more uh, to say to me. Yeah, that was a nice little diversion there and back again all in one night. All right, let's take a look at what he gave us though. For oh, light armor, fortify agility, fortify intelligence. Actually, that's not too bad. Uh. Not the look I'm quite looking for. I like the gray shirt part, but I'm not feeling the green, um, the green apron. Now, if it was blue, yeah, I'd, I'd probably rock that for a while. All right, guys. Well, I think this is where we're going to leave it for the day. In the next episode, we're definitely going to head over to the Imperial City and pick up things with Boris. But until then, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Valkyra. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope I'll see you in the next one.